Thank you for joining me here today. I'd like to acknowledge that we are gathered today on the traditional territory of the signatories to Treaty 7 and acknowledge the Métis people of Alberta who share a deep connection and history with this land. This morning, April's job numbers were released by Statistics Canada. And while it's encouraging to see jobs added, we can see Albertans falling further behind under the UCP. Alberta's unemployment rate re remains above the national average. Calgary has the highest unemployment rate out of any city in the country. And despite more people working, wages aren't keeping pace with inflation. In fact, Alberta has the slowest wage growth in the country since the start of the pandemic. As a result, Albertans are finding it difficult to afford basic necessities and half are just $200 from not meeting all of their financial obligations at the end of the month. That is the highest level in Canada. Meanwhile, the UCP is piling on extra costs. Income taxes, property taxes, tuition, auto insurance, and utilities have all gone up as a result of UCP policies. So while the UCP uses today's job numbers to try and save the Premier's job, we know that Albertans are still trying to find a job, particularly in Calgary. Even the Premier said that there's little hope for those looking for employment in our oil and gas sector under the UCP. The UCP ran the entire election on creating jobs in the oil and gas sector. They promised that their corporate tax cut would create those jobs and fill the towers in downtown Calgary. It didn't. The UCP re repeatedly failed to deliver on this promise. They keep telling Albertans to just wait a little longer but over their term, the UCP has not created a single new job in the oil and gas industry, and now they've just given up. There are fewer jobs in oil and gas now than there were when the UCP government took office. Just yesterday, the Premier admitted the UCP has failed and that these jobs are not coming back. Meanwhile, downtown office vacancies in Calgary still hover around 30%. Since the UCP accelerated their failed corporate handout, the number of head offices in Calgary has gone from 117 down to 102. Their massive corporate giveaway didn't provide any return for Albertans. It's another reason that Albertans just can't trust this UCP government to manage the economy. An NDP government would make economic diversification a priority. Within our energy sector, and by supporting emerging industries. The UCP canceled programs like the Alberta Investor Tax Credit that were doing exactly that. We can create jobs, help Albertans get ahead, and bring new energy to downtown Calgary. But it will take new and innovative solutions. The UCP has proven that looking for the future in the past just isn't going to work. Thank you, and I'm happy to take your questions. Okay, we'll start with questions in person. And seeing none, we'll move to questions on the line. Just a reminder, if you're joining by phone, to press star nine, and if you're joining on Zoom, to use the raise hand function. And seeing none, that's all for today. Okay, thank you. Thank you so much for watching, and to learn more, check out albertasfuture.ca.